So I know that many of you often wonder, how do we find these incredible stories? Full disclosure, this is an example of when Twitter does something good. Mm -hmm. Thaddeus mm -hmm. and I met on Twitter. He started following me. He sent a complimentary note. I contacted you, and I started Googling you. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I saw you advocating for kids who'd been bullied. And then I digged a little deeper, and I found out that when you were 17 years old, your beautiful mother shared this story with you of how you were conceived. What yeah. was that like? Um, it was, uh, you know, I think a lot of times people, kids in general, we think our parents are the craziest people in the world growing up. <laughs> and in some cases, she was. Uh, but she was crazy and loved to make sure that me and my brothers uh, had an opportunity to live a life that, that uh, hopefully, you know, all kids should have an opportunity to live. And it was a struggle for us, uh, but when, you know, me and my mom had a very tumultuous relationship growing up uh, because we were poor, and I didn't understand a lot of things growing up. And uh, while I couldn't go to the movies, like my friends were going to the movies, and while we had to have egg noodles every night uh, with chicken and neck bones or whatever, but as I went to the Florida Sheriff's Boys Ranch and my mom came up, I thought I was getting sent home, and uh, I, I, but then I had to realize I was doing very well, and my mom gave me the news that I, of how I'd been conceived, and all that anger and hate that I had towards my mom at that time instantly turned into love because I realized at that moment that my mom was a kid trying to raise kids, and uh, so she's a she's a hero. Yes, you know? she is. Daria, Miss Daria. Miss Daria. I'm from the South. We just, I can't bring myself just to call you by your first name, but um, what, what was the breaking point for you? Why did he need to know? Because you could have kept this from him forever. I always wanted to tell him, but I didn't, never knew the right timing. And I felt like because he was at the ranch, if it, he got all upset, they would be able to control it. What was the ranch? The voice, Florida the Sheriff's Voice Ranch. Branch. This is a youth facility that uh, for years has helped, over 60 years now, uh, has helped youth that have come from troubled backgrounds, abused backgrounds, et cetera, uh, get on the right path. Um, it's, you know, founded by uh, law enforcement agencies and, uh, and supported by generous donors from all over, from all different people from all different walks of life. So, Terry, he was at the ranch getting help that yes. you couldn't give him, or you yes. felt that you couldn't? I felt like I couldn't give him because I didn't understand a lot of things. Take your time. But um, it all worked out because the things that I couldn't give him, the parenting things that I didn't really know, they were able to help him um, by him being there. He met so many people. And I just thank God for all the people that came in his life when they didn't have nothing to gain from it. Looking back at your decision to tell him, as he said now, your son, you were a baby when these things happened to you. Yes. So you're dealing with your own scars, your pain, no support. And now you're trying to release some of this by yes. telling him? Were you afraid or worried that this might make your already complicated relationship worse? Yes, and that's why I waited so long because I felt like because we had a strained relationship that he would just get more upset with me and not speak to me and hate me for what he felt like I was treating him differently, but I wasn't. What did you feel after that moment? Um, I have the same thing I feel now. I feel incredibly grateful that, uh, that my mom uh, made the decisions that she made. I didn't understand them a lot at that time, uh, but I know there are thousands of people around the world that uh, are truly appreciative, uh, uh, just as appreciative of, of what she did and the sacrifices she made. And uh, I'll never be able to replay my mom for <laughs> this, that sacrifice. Well, you've um, made her a pretty proud mom right yeah. now, mm -hmm. let me tell you. <laughs> um, 